Welcome to this JS webinar. My name is Joze Valic, and in this webinar, I will provide you with some information and tips on how to prepare for an audit on operation. The information should be kept in mind by the project partners selected for an audit. It cannot be emphasized enough how important a good preparation is for a positive outcome of the audit. To begin with, it is important to understand the roles of the audit authority and group of auditors. The audit authority is the body verifying the effective functioning of the management and control system in the program. This is done by performing audits on the MAJS as well as on the national control systems. The audit authority is supported by GOA members from each member state. The audit authority, supported by the group of auditors, ensures that the audits are carried out on appropriate sample, ensures that the audit work is performed on the basis of an audit strategy, and trusts the performance of the audit work to an external audit firm, in this case, Ernst & Young. Audits on projects are performed during the entire program lifetime. When a pro project is selected for an audit, the lead partner as well as one of or more project partners are audited. The same beneficiary might be audited more times if the same project is selected more than once or if the beneficiary is involved in more than one project. During an audit, the following is analyzed. Existence of the project complies with the obligations set in the subsidy contract and partnership agreement, eligibility of expenditure, actual payment of expenditure, compliance with EU and national rules, including public procurement, existence and soundness of the audit trail, review of the control work carried out by the national controller. The whole process for audits on operations can be divided in the following steps. First, the projects are sampled by the audit authority and approved by the GOA members. After that, the MAJS sends an introduction email to the lead partner and all project partners included in the sample. The selected lead partners and project partners are contacted by the auditors via email in order to plan and agree on a date for the audit visit. Next, an on-the-spot check is carried out by the auditors on the premises of the partners' institutions. After that, a draft audit report is sent by the audit firm and a contradictory procedure with the audited beneficiaries starts. Once the contradictory procedure is concluded and the draft audit report becomes final, it is sent to the lead partner, project partner, and the national controller. The MAJS perform corrective and follow-up measures based on the final audit report. Now I would like to give you some more detailed information about each step of the process. As a first step, the projects are sampled by the audit authority and approved by the GOA members. The audit authority draws the sample of projects to be audited on a random basis. The population for sampling are the operations for which the certifying authority has declared expenditure to the European Commission in a given accounting year. The audit authority, assisted by the GOA, opted for non-statistical sampling. Using a two-stage sampling, the operations to be audited are selected at the first stage and the project partners to be audited are selected at the second stage. The sample together with the explanatory note is then communicated to the MHS. On the basis of the sample communicated by the audit authority, the MHS send out an introduction email to the lead partner, project partner, to announce the audit visit by the auditors. Such information is sent to the national controller, GO member, lead partner, in case of project partner, reminds the audited lead partner, project partner about the duties, for example, relevant project documentation available, responsible persons present during the audit, and similar. Informs the lead partner or project partner that it will be further contacted by auditors to agree on the date of the audit and to be given more information. The on-the-spot audit visit usually takes place in one or two days at the premises of the relevant lead partner or project partner. Even if the audit visit runs smoothly and no findings are detected on the spot, this does not prevent or exclude that findings might be later included in the draft audit report. The MHS encourages the participation of the national controller in audit visits in order to provide support to lead partner or project partner. It is recommended to contact the national controller to provide details regarding the venue and special requirements. 
Once the on-the-spot audit visit is completed, the draft audit report is drawn by the auditors, checked by the audit authority and the MHS, and can be commented by the relevant GOA member. The MHS initiates the contradictory procedure involving the audited lead partner, project partner, and national controller and providing a deadline within which all answers should be received. In case the rev revised draft report has no findings, no contradictory face with the beneficiaries is foreseen. The draft audit report will automatically become final. Once the contradictory procedure is finalized, the MHS consolidates the answers and sends them out to the audit authority. Once contradictory procedure is finalized, the final audit report is prepared based on the comments put forward by the lead partner, project partner, national controller, and the MHS. The auditors decide whether the findings persist or if they should be lifted due to the clarifications given during the contradictory phase. Final audit report is provided to MHS that send it to relevant lead partner or project partner copying national controller, lead partner, only in case of project partner, and the relevant GOA member. In case of findings included in final audit report, the MHS take the relevant corrective and follow-up measures. If finding is formal, MHS checks that lead partner, project partner, and national controller take remedial action. If finding is financial, MHS launch the relevant procedure to withdraw or recover the ineligible amount. If project is still running, a financial correction is done in the next project payment. If project is closed, a recovery letter is sent out. If financial finding is systemic, MAJS asks National Controller to take corrective measures and check additional reports for errors. What are the most frequent findings from the past programming period? On the level of lead partner or project partner, Public procurement issues, for example, procedure not sufficiently documented, contract not sufficiently detailed, errors in the calculation of staff costs, lack of supporting documents, costs were not project relevant, inclusion of ineligible expenditure, for example, alcohol, no posting of expenditures in the separate accounting system. On the national controllers level, Incorrect annulling procedure or stamp. Lack of check of proof of payment. Lack of check concerning immediate transfer of ERDF payments from lead partner to project partners. Before we end, we would like to give you some tips and hints. Before the audit, get more information about the procedure and how to best prepare from implementation manual, national contact point, presentations from your national controller seminars. As the population for sampling is made up of operations for which the certifying authority has declared expenditure to the European Commission in a given accounting year, you will then be informed as to which expenditure related to which reporting period will be audited. Think about possible problems that occurred in these reports and be prepared to answer possible questions already during the on-the-spot check. Check for possible days when all involved are present. Project manager, finance manager, human resources, accountancy, national controller, and agree on the date of the audit with the auditors. You should propose two or more available dates if possible. Prepare all the documents and check them for completeness. Print or copy the documents, application form, lead partners, project partners budget, subsidy contract, partnership agreement, PR financial documents, receipt of ERDF payments, invoices, payment receipts. Organize them in a register and save electronic documents in a separate folder so that all the documents are ready when needed and be aware that additional documents can be requested on the spot. Prepare the outputs, equipment, promotional materials, and make sure that they are available for the check and that all applicable information, communication and branding requirements have been respected. During the audit, introduce the team members and you could also show the auditor around the premises, the room archive where the documents are safely stored. 
Be prepared to shortly present the project, its goals, activities in the periods checked. Make notes and remarks for specific problem situations which might help you to prepare for other audits on operation you might have in other projects. Prepare missing documents information while the auditor is performing other checks and finally discuss the findings. Work together with the auditor, clarify different problems and situations, explain your procedures in detail. After the audit, send scans and documents requested by the auditor, sign the letter of representation and keep all the documents in safe storage. After you receive the draft report, prepare your response on filings. Analyze these findings and avoid them in the next periods and other projects. At the end of this webinar, we would like to inform you about our contacts. We hope that you find the present information helpful and wish you good luck. Thank you for your attention.